Okay, and welcome to this tutorial on how to everything having to do with grades inside of Duck Soup. So the first thing, obviously, whenever we want to get grades inside Duck Soup, um, we use the Monitor tab. I click on the Monitor tab. I click on one of my classes, and it shows me the grade. Now, <clears throat> if I want to hand grade what a student has done, um, I would click on this name. So any name that's over here, if I just click on it, it'll take me directly to their hand graded portion. <clears throat> if if it hasn't been graded yet, it would tell me that the student hasn't turned this in, they haven't had it graded, and then it'll give you the option uh, to grade it yourself if you'd like to, where you say just force them to turn it in. So maybe the student did the work and then they didn't grade it. So you could force it to be turned in and graded right then and there. Uh, on the hand grade portion, you actually have the option where you can go through and, you know, actually hand grade. And you could add extra credit. And then you can apply that grade and it'll actually show the changes. And then, of course, when you click and close that, you actually can look. This is the actual e sheet that this student worked on. So, any of their work. So, if this were, say, there, you wanted to actually annotate on top of their work, you can say, click on the grade work here. And then you can say, you know, something like that. And then that would stick it there, and then the student actually can go back and see that. If you ever want to reset anything, this is the little reset button. If I do that, it would erase everything and reset it back to how it was. And then, um, of course, up here, I can click on the next student all the way down. I can switch to the next class. I can click here and actually go to the actual student itself and look at all their different s subjects there are sorry e sheets that they have actually turned in so let me get back there <clears throat> another way that i could get to hand grade is if i click right up here i can go to actually hand grade this and that would take me to the very first student now in this case i only have one student so that's what it's taking me to so let's look at what it looks like for a student whenever they do their e sheet so the student so this is a student right here and now once a student has graded it actually so that it defaults to two tries and you can change that in the settings but if you want to the student actually on their second try it shows them what they missed so right here is the one I missed and so it would tell me so this is the one on my second try I want to try to fix let's say I change that to 11 and then I come up here and click grade E sheet yes and so this is what it looks like for the student so it's very similar and it tells me how many more attempts I have. So it lets the student know what they, what their answer was and was it correct or not. And so now, as a teacher, let me switch over to a teacher. <clears throat> so I'm back here as the teacher. I'm going to click on Duck Soup, get back here. And so now, inside the Monitor tab, of course I have Live View. But then I also have this up here, where I can actually download all of the grades for this, for this e sheet for every student and or I can actually download it or upload it to my Google Drive as a spreadsheet on my Google Drive. So this is just a CSV spreadsheet file and this is just one inside your Google Drive that you could save for later if you want. Now if I click on this I can actually come up here and download just the grades for this actual section or class. And so that's how you would deal with um, getting the grades out. Now let's say that uh, here at this school that I work at, we use um, Skyward for our gradebook. And so Skyward uses the student's IDs in order to uh, tell who the student is. So actually, your student has the ability, if you come over here to this class, inside the class tab, there's a Manage Student tab. And so if I click on Manage Students, it actually brings it up and shows me all my students in this classroom. I have the ability as a teacher, I can actually click right here. <coughs> Sorry, wrong one. And students. Actually, I have the ability where I could click right here and I could change the student's name. So if I want to change it to, you know, test student only, then I could do that and change it to test student. And I can actually enter that student's ID. But I don't really want to enter, you know, I have a hundred, let's say I have 150 students. I don't want to have to enter 150 ID numbers. So actually, if I switch back to student view here, on the student view, 
if the student goes to their profile, they click on their name, they actually have the ability to uh, put in their ID number here. And all you have to do as a teacher is unlock that. So if these were unlocked here, this is locked in another class, but if these were unlocked here, the student could put in his ID number and change the student's name right here and update it. And then inside, let me switch back to the teacher. Inside here, I could put in the student's ID number and then I could lock this. So now all the students cannot change their name or their ID numbers. I also have the ability to change the student's password. I also have the ability to remove the student from this class. So if you have any questions, please feel free to email me at support at ducksoup.us. Thank you.